All right, for today's video, we're actually doing Infinite Warfare Zombies. So the map in question is going to be Beast from Beyond. Now, Beast from Beyond is a map. Um, it's a map and it is one of the worst maps to have ever been created. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is because this is taking me way too long to try and beat this map and honestly I'm trying to figure out what is my best solution for beating this map. Now, I thought using Ego Trip was going to like help me throughout the boss fight. It didn't. Um, so I guess I'm just going to use twice the pain. Uh, the only downside is that I'll, it only lasts for 30 seconds. And... Um, yeah so hopefully this works because i i'm sick and tired of playing zombie. this this is again one of the worst maps ever created and it's kind of crazy that uh it's about to be 420 and it says 420 now as like a brief explanation of how this map works, uh, this map is very, very simple. The only thing that's not simple is beating the goddamn boss fight. For some reason, whoever designed this map thought it would be a good idea to have a rhino as, or I'm sorry, two rhinos as the boss. And not just that, every time you do enough damage, it leaves lingering fire that doesn't disappear until you kill it. And not just that, that's not even the worst part. The fire, the fire that lingers and just stays there until you kill at least one of the rhinos. You mother. I'm gonna need something for this. What that something is? So, uh, that's back to the rhinos. Story. The rhinos, the fire that the rhinos leave. They don't disappear until you kill them. And not just that, they're doing several ticks of damage. They do, as soon as you step foot in one of them. Oh, whoa, it's a lot of aliens. Um, as soon as you, uh, I lost train of thought. But yeah, as soon as uh, you step into the fire, it already, kill, it already does like two, three ticks of damage in a single second. And it's just absolutely awful. Now, right now, go. Now, for this entire Easter egg, I can do this on. Okay, it is there. But yeah, for this entire Easter egg, I can do this all on round one or round three. So far, I've been beating this entire Easter egg in 10 minutes. Let me start this. So, uh, for this, you gotta go around the map, look for your container. And for this, you have to stay inside this green circle. You cannot leave. If you leave, you fail. And you gotta go next round. And no one's trying to do all that. I just realized I'm in my Valorant profile for my mouse settings. But yeah, uh, this map is awful. I fucking hate this. Like, so incredibly much. Uh, it's almost done. But yeah, um, for this Easter egg, you need that, uh, like the Ghost and Skulls gun in order to complete this easter egg and like by the way like this entire easter egg is like where are you where are you oh you're over there you're over there i fucking okay i hate this map i really do So what just happened is that I just failed. Um, I didn't know where the skull was and I couldn't find it. So because I couldn't find this stupid skull, 
I have to do this entire thing all over again. For funsies. Like, this is just a terrible, terrible Easter egg in the map. Terrible. So now I had to do this entire thing all over again. All because I failed. Um, the only good, the only good side about it is that I make more money off of them. I hear you. That's like the only good side is that I'm getting more money out of them. I also need to switch their profile on my mouse. That way I'm on my COD settings. And by the way, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but I have a new mouse. Right now, I'm using... Oh, that works. But yeah, I'm using a new mouse. So right now, I just switched my mouse. And now I'm using the Basilisk, the Razer Basilisk V3. I think it's a V3. Either a V3 or a V3 Pro. Okay, there's up there. Good looks. This map is awful. Just can't get over the fact that how bad this map is. And I do also don't have um, quick revive. I actually, I should just be meleeing. So yeah, I'm gonna do the Easter eggs on round three. That way, I can just get the, the Easter eggs done and over with because. For all my runs on beating this, I made it to boss fight and died on boss fight. I had like the greatest RNG ever and I still managed to lose in boss fight. Like this, this, this is like a, this is a cursed map. Like, this is just such a cursed map. I hate- this map is terrible. It just should not exist. And we have Dead and Denied, which is another map that just shouldn't exist. Is it terrible? Uh, everything about it is? Are you fucking kidding me? Is there a helmet in here? I need a helmet. There's no way I it missed. It didn't hit. Where's a helmet? Helmet. Energy cell levels remain at critical. I need a it replacement. AI protocols be restored, or the facility's power and life support systems will malfunction. I can't stand this Easter egg whatsoever. Oh, helmet. I gotta walk this all the way back. Now, by the time I beat, I actually get to boss fight, it'll already be 16 minutes into the video. All because of such a minor failure. Sure, sure. Whatever. Okay, so we have a square. Or, you know what? I'm just gonna call it a diamond, because it's kind of in the shape of a diamond. And I fuck me, I don't have the other. Uh, I don't have the other pack a punch part for the bridge. Yeah, and I also need to get um, crack revived because I'm I forgot about that. So right now, buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I just might have to do it just like if it was a speed run, just a VPR only. Because I mean it's a good gun. That's all three. The complete package. Like yours truly. Good gun. And I believe this is what they take to boss fight. Did I? I didn't get the bridge part. Oh, I did, I did. Okay, cool, 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 cool. 
I didn't think I did. I didn't think I did. I should have just bought that. You know what? Nah, I never buy that door. That's like such a useless door. And the box is out here. Okay, we can use the box. Um, the only thing is, is that I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. Um, yeah, just pack punch that. I'm not trying to have like a good gun as my meal kit gun because as soon as I go down, that's gone. Don't forget about those F and F cards. And like the best thing you could possibly get from uh, what is that? Square or uh, nope, diamond. Okay, so ours is number five. The phantom should be. Yep, there we go. Just don't t don't hit me. Just don't do it. It's my other card. So here, no, would have been nice. Cool. Um, what are where are you? Oh, is that it? It's upside down. Am I looking at it wrong? Okay, so yeah, this is second, so slot two, slot one, um, not here, here, not here, was there one up here, no, no. Sally. Um, not here. Not here. Here we are. Square. Square is last. Oh wow, that's crazy. We actually got it in the perfect order. So it's like so it's kinda like I wanna I was like I wanna say call it a triangle. Um so yeah, I I'm gonna call it a triangle. Give it the fucking thing. Run through here. Energy cell levels remain critical. It is imperative that all AI protocols are in the facility. He's gonna be pissed off. Actually, let me go this way. That way it's just faster. Get in, get out. Are you oh, I never unlocked that one. So now uh, that we're done with that step, um, that's just like buying the floppy disk. Uh, now we're going to be on the. Should I use the fate and fortune card? I guess it's like technically the second step of the Easter egg. Because the first step is turning on power, the second step is the floppy disk, and then the third step is this button. So we got that button from out of here. Put her on into the film. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, that's the right way. Push the button. There we go. And now for the challenging part of taking a picture. All right, so now screenshots. Look at the picture. And we're just going to turn everything side. Now we're just going to turn everything up. So we're going to make everything vertical. Right here. So one, two. And when doing this, you have to do it like left to right. I thought I was a zombie. Um, Is it 
that one. Okay, it's just that one. So we're on the third row, which is this one, this one, this one. And then we just gotta do the bottom ones, which are here. All right, and here we go. So that's done. Very cool. Okay. I didn't think we was gonna be able to go over here. So now here is one of the tough parts, the uh, heavy RNG parts. Now you have to take Neil's head after you have the entire thing. So just like the fourth step. Well, just like still technically the third step because it all ties in together. But um, now we just gotta take Neil's head and by the way, you have to hold it the entire time. You can't drop it. Let go of the trigger, you drop Neil's head and you can't pick it back up and you have to do the entire thing all over again. Open the blocking door. Open the door. Thank you. This is why you wanted to do this on like the earliest rounds possible, because then you know they just won't rush you. So now you gotta take Neil's head into pack a bunch, still holding on to the trigger. And now you put him inside this computer. Just make sure his head is like in it. Mind you that we've got a death scene to shoot. And it doesn't and there we go. Easter egg over. That's the last step of the Easter egg. So now, what I'm going to do is grind out points and get set up. That way I could do boss fight. Okay, we are now ready for boss fight. I got set up so incredibly fast. And the way I did it was, I just made, I just punched through... Why are I here to zombies? But yeah, I just punched through like all the rounds. We was on round three, so I punched through Bad eight rounds. Eight rounds of just melee only to get 3k. Now we're on boss fight. Now, here's how the boss fight works. It starts off with your four regular rhinos that just... That just all comes out for a spawn. I like to... Just try not to get hit. Uh, when you do a charge attack, uh, it will take you down in one shot. It's one of the worst things ever. It's a free fire, but you want to hit them in the head. And the lower the rounds are, the easier the boss fight will become. Jeez, alright. Should have killed them. You gotta try and aim for the head or the mouths. Okay, I have my near death still on. Now for this one, you just gotta survive. So for the boss fight, you really wanna have an LG. Either the Muller or the Atlas. I recommend I like the Atlas. Muller is good, but I think the Atlas is better. It just kills faster and does a little more damage. But if you're going to use the Muller, you want to have the same variant that I'm using, which is the one that like splits the bullets into like a column. That way you just hit fire. It just hits all either head, you hit head shots, head and body shots, all that good stuff. Which is a little more accurate, too. So. Well, actually, a lot more accurate. On to the opposite side. Take out the blue ones. Blue ones suck. They're very annoying, and they're very tanky.
Now, hopefully the reanimate doesn't take my quick revive. Because if it does, um, that's going to be pretty bad. Okay. Now we got to survive. Just run around the entire map. Heal is whatever is in your way. Because they will, yeah, they just spawn out of the portals. They, like, spawn ready to screw you in any kind of way. And the blue ones suck. So, kill the blue ones. Yeah, kill as many blue ones as you can. Just to get rid of them. Yeah, that's why. Just to get rid of them. Make sure that you're looking forward. Because you don't want to look backwards. Because then you might get screwed. Okay, now for the terminals. Okay, there we go. Over. Kill the rest of it. The there goes the rhino. Don't charge. Just don't charge. Okay, he's dead. Cool. Now we're on to the time base thing. So now the portal's gonna open back up. But now this terminal's gonna be open. And okay, that's open. And now we're gonna survive until this timer runs down. And by the way, they spawn on all sides. And there's also gonna be rhinos too. Yep. Run, keep running. Okay. Take out the blue ones. Uh, killing the rhino really doesn't matter. I mean, you can. Uh, I just don't do it. It's kind of like a waste of time. Your death. You're not really helping me. Okay. I got the blue ones. I need to check on the time. I need to check on the time. Kill whoever is in front of me. We have 44 seconds. 44 seconds. Blue ones. There was in front of me. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And this rhino is fast. You want to keep the rhino like in the center. That way, it's just added away. Scouts. There's the rhino. I I see you. Uh, until the console starts sparking, then you can go interact with it. That's why I get rid of like all the all the aliens. Yo, you're right underneath him. How are you? Oh, uh, ooh, a single second. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. Interact with this. Oof. All right. Do you work? No. Uh, where is the sentry gun? Sentry gun? Sentry gun? Okay. Uh, twice the pain. And we're going to use the VPR. He's charging? Okay. I want to... I you really want to train him. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Uh. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. 
Au. Okay. Ow, ow. Two hits. There's two hits right there. Okay, so I need to space them out. Space them out. And the reason why I want to space them out is that way... You'll... Kill them. Okay, space them out. Because I need to kill... I need to kill one of them. Okay, where where is the other one? It's not dead. Make sure I don't get trapped. And right now, I'm just training him in here. That way, I can limit the fire in certain areas. I'm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, limit of fire. So. Let me just focus on the scouts. I can jump over that. That's good. Okay. Down here again. Jump over that. That way I only take one hit of damage. No, 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 no. I need to take- I really need to take one of them out. Ow. Don't get trapped. Okay, one's dead, one's dead, one's dead. We're up tremendous. Ow, ow, ow. Now, this is doing a really good amount of damage. He's charging. This way. Okay, so we're just gonna wrap them around. Limited fire. Oh, you jumped. Oh no, that's not good. Um, juke him. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're doing so good, so good. It's a lot of fire. Okay, jump over that. So much fire. No, please don't hit me. Okay, drop. Oh, my ammo crate is down there. That's not good. Just don't charge. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, through here. That's too much fire. Two hits, two hits. Over there. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Holy. You've done it. 
my goodness, you finally done it! Yeah, we've done it all right, but we just got one more thing to do. Unhand me this instant! Give me a moment to explain! Don't you understand what has taken place? Shut up! We sick of you, your lies, and all this voodoo bullshit! It's time for a taste of your own medicine, you sick bastard. You have no idea the magnitude of what you're dealing with. You must listen, or all hope will be lost. You know what to do, Poindexter. I beg of you, listen for a mere moment. Zombies in Spaceland, now starring Willard Wyler. Please, no! You'll only make matters worse than they already appear to be. Countless souls are at stake. We must work together. Ah! Is is this nightmare over? Are we finally free? I don't care to find out. Let's just get the hell out of this place while we can. Uh, it won't budge. What in the hell won't it open? Uh, what in the hell is going on, man? Oh no. What have we done? Death was merely the beginning. <laughs> Maybe play a fate and fortune card? Okay, so that is Beast from Beyond, or oh, Director's Cut mode. Now, here is the Mephistopheles boss fight on oh, <laughs> Director's Cut mode. So I'm gonna just end the recording here and just start a new one. And then we'll just call it that. So, uh, see you guys in the next video. Or for me, it'll be like in the next second. So, uh, for the second part of the second portion of this video, so I'm going to like title this and everything. And just to make sure that everyone is kind of like caught up. But, um, for the Mephistopheles boss fight, I made it to the Mephistopheles boss fight. It was absolutely hard. It was ridiculously hard. Honestly, I don't even know how this even made it into the game. Uh, I just don't, I don't know. I, it was like my, it was my second time ever making it to the boss fight. That's all I can say. It was the second time I've ever made it to that boss fight. And the second time that I've lost in it. And this time, this time I actually did better. This time it worked out a little much better than what I did the first time. My first run, I didn't understand what I, anything of what I was doing. The second time, I actually understood a little bit, but I wasn't paying attention enough, to, like enough to say to be like, "Oh, okay, I know what he's going like his whole entire move set." I, I do not know his entire move set. If anything, I thought it was only like one thing at first. Then it started like you know progressing, but no, it he just hits me with everything. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys do enjoy this portion of the video and please wish me luck. I'm going to be like, I'm, I'm going to look up some videos. I'm going to be doing some runs just to try to improve on it. And it's like, get all the timings down. It's going to be like an Elden Ring playthrough for me, but hopefully, hopefully I get, I make tremendous progress because that's all I want. I want to make a huge amount of progress that way I can make it back to the Mephistopheles boss fight and beat it solo. That is my goal. So if you guys can, please leave a like and subscribe. I've tried to hit 10,000 subs by the end of 2024. So if you guys can help me get to that goal, I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get back into the Mephistopheles boss fight. Okay, so this is the second part of the Beast from Beyond Easter egg. So if you guys do not know, after beating Beast from Beyond, you are on director scott you are transported into um a, by the way you also had to have like get all the talismans all the talismans all the keys and all that good stuff um after you beat beast from beyond on director scott mode you are transported into the theater but this time you're going against the you're going against another boss fight this boss fight is one of the hardest boss fights in cod history um and honestly i'm I'm pretty scared. I really do not want to lose. I am terrified. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. 
the ball perks. I'm not gonna, yeah, I don't really know how I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm still, I'm kind of freaking out because I've only been on this boss fight once. And the first time I did this, I was absolutely slaughtered. It took, it was only two minutes that I survived inside that boss fight. And the way this boss fight works is that, where's my ammo? I need ammo. Okay, so we have an infinite amount of time to be in here. Thank the heavens that we do. But, um, this is going to be absolutely ridiculously hard. So, if I remember correctly, what we need to do in order to beat this is we need to stand. We need either we collect souls or we just need to stand in like a certain area and then, uh, and then that's how we beat the boss fight or see I, I don't really know I don't really I don't know I don't really remember so I can't I don't I just don't know uh let me get all my cards back because just just a, like Really, just to put in perspective, in perspective, this is this is going to be chaos. You had a mixture of all zombies from all maps in one arena, and the thing about it is that the arena is small. The arena is small. Mephistopheles has one shot moves, which will take you out, uh, like I said, in one shot, and I don't really know. This is, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be ridiculously hard. So, the least we can do is spin for something good. And hopefully, we get something good. Maybe I just need to trade in my Mauler. The Thug. Maybe it's saying I'm too overpowered with the Mauler. Because you want to have the Mauler. But that's what I do know for sure. You want to have the Mauler. The Atlas. Let's go. Okay. Atlas is also good. I like the Atlas better. Um, the Venom. The Venom Z. Uh, I don't know. What is this one? Um, the Venom. The Venoms don't really aren't all that good. I need the Kendalls. That's what I need. If I can get the Kendalls, that will save us uh, like a lot. And I will. I'm gonna get the Kendalls on my main hand because, yeah, the Kendalls. Yeah, the Kendalls are gonna help us out tremendous. Because, like I said, you're gonna have a mixture between all zombies, and that's like from boss fights. And all maps. So, the Mauler. Um. All right. All right. I'll take that. If I, I can't die. If I go down, I, it's over. No! 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 created this manifestation of reality you've yearned for. I am no one, and I am everyone. But to you, you may call me Master. You're crazy in the head, man. We didn't ask for any of this. Hey, look, man, I don't care who you are, but this theater, this, this place, I ain't never asked for this shit. And I can tell you right now, that Master BS ain't cracking, bruh, bruh. Uh-uh. Is this not what you sought? A return to this very sanctuary. Greetings, young grasshopper. What is it that you desire most? Can you please tell me how to get back to that damn field with this nightmare and take everyone that's trapped here with me? I need someone to collect souls, and you have proven to be worthy of such a task. Bow before your new master. I shall consume your soul. 
Whoa, okay. I didn't think that there was a time limit, but I guess there's a five minute time limit. And now, I'm pretty sure there's four symbols. Either four or five symbols. Holy hell. hell. Avoid, avoid the duck fireballs. I'm down. What in the actual hell? Okay. Okay. Fireballs again. I need fuck. Okay. Fuck. Okay, okay, reanimate. Okay. Holy hell! I do- oh, oh my god. What is this boss fight? Holy... This boss fight is ridiculous. Holy... And I get disconnected from Steam. What is this? Okay, okay, we're gonna try this again. But we're gonna do this on boss fight mode. Cause holy hell. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to do. This map is, this map is ridiculous. Holy. Okay, okay. Woo. My blood is pumping, my heart is pounding. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so choose film. No, nope. we're just going to boss battle. Mephistopheles. Start match. Holy hell. Okay, I I can't believe what that was. So this is why you, you want to have the candles. If you can get the candles. You'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine because you'll be able to get the zombies off of you while still maintaining the, like, you looking at Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles, he one shots. So the fireballs one, what in the world? The, the fireballs, I guess, need two hits of, either two or three hits of damage. I wish it just gave me director's cut mode. Holy hell, I, I'm like lightheaded. Okay, so we need the candles. This shall be the um, green test, Muller, oh, can I get the Atlas? It's 5,000. Crypt to suck. Um, the beast from and honestly, we go down, we go down. <laughs> Nothing we can really do about that. Uh, quickies. Man, I wish I could just have. I just wish I could have had direct or uh, my darker skill would have been active for this. Yo, this is hard. So yeah, you only have five. I think you only have five minutes. Then you're just thrown as a boss fight. Hopefully this this counts as me winning. What the fuck is that? So yeah, you What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's over. It's over. He just 
fireballs. Off rip. Okay, he's sucking me in. Nope. This is ridiculously hard. I don't know how to do this. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some time and effort into this. To do it all over again. Make a brand new video for it. And then we're gonna see where that goes from there. But like for now, I have no clue what it would it what I'm what I want, what I'm trying to spend for, I don't know what to do. But now that I know that you have ammo off rip, you can go grab ammo. And then you're with like with your entire setup. Cause I actually had a I had a good setup. I had a really good setup. The only problem is that I didn't have ammo. And I didn't think I was gonna have ammo off the beginning, like off rip. So now that I know that, I'm gonna try it again all over again and we're gonna see where that goes from, from there but man the Mephistopheles boss fight is ridiculous holy so yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm, I, I don't I don't really, really know now um so if you guys can please leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you guys are new um and I'll see you guys in the next video